Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft, and this is Richard. So I am going to do a little project for my martial art training. So I figure uh, since I'm going to do it, I might as well share it with everybody. I am using my number one most used survival kit that I've ever created, and this is my sewing kit. This thing I have used more than any other kit that I can imagine. Excellent to have. I uh, got myself a nice little needle out of there. It's a, it's a sail needle. It's all bent up and jacked up. I am using, uh, right now I've got a little piece of uh, trout line on it. Some uncoated trout line. Because what I'm going to do is at the Dollar Tree they've got these little balls in the toy section where you attach it to the wrist and then you can throw it and it'll bounce back and da 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 well I'm gonna use this but I don't want this really super stretchy stuff on it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that off and then I'm going to first of all make sure that I don't tear it up because you never know I might want to put that back together at some point and put that back on there alright so it's very simple it's just running through the ball and all I'm gonna have to do is just hopefully there it goes just pull it out there it is and it's out now I'm going to replace this super stringy bouncy stuff with some cordage that's not going to bounce around now uh, I have some coated version of the trout line here but I don't want it coated so uh, I have this uh, poly rope that I've got from the Dollar Tree as well and I think I'm going to use that but right now I'm going to run this through hopefully without creating too much of an issue of going elsewhere through the ball eh, yeah. pretty close there we go there we go and there we go it's through the ball it's good enough not completely centered but doesn't really have to be at this point there we go all right there we run this through here there so now I just have this string holding the ball together. Now I'm just going to make a nice little, uh, let's just do a knot. It doesn't really have to be anything special. Just going to put a, put a simple little knot, put them both together. And let's try to make it even just for GP. Good enough. Grab both of them, make a, a loop, stick the tag ends through the loop, do this without there we go grab that and then let's try to make this knot as far down there we go that's good right right there look at that so there we go we got that little knot there now let's see here let's take this around my finger roll it around my other finger and run it through there we go good and that makes a nice little knot there so now we have a little loop right here and it is running through the ball there so now I can attach whatever cordage I want to it and if for some reason I end up deciding that I don't like the way this cordage works, I can take it off and I can always adjust it to something different. I can put a carabiner on this. That way I can adjust and move, do all sorts of fun things. So, as soon as I get, I'm going to go find a carabiner and I'll get right back with you. Alright, so uh, this is the first one I found, just a little small carabiner. And it's just going to lock up right there like so and then uh, I will 
undo this cordage and we will go outside to a tree that I'm going to use this on. I'll be right back. Uh, <clears throat> I decided to come out here where I put my shower and I do have a piece of uh, mule tape here. Reach up. There we go. Pull down where I put my shower. There we go. Now I made a, a little loop on this so I can simply just run this loop here. There we go. And bingo bango. There we go. Got the cordage here. <clears throat> we'll end up having to move my uh, now this will be good just to get it out of the way there we go so there <clears throat> now we will take the ball and I'll figure out where I want it maybe right here there we go all right that's about, let's see here, well, it's about chin level. We've got it at chin level. There we go. Good, good. All right. All right, so I have my Joe. I have a Boken. And I have one of my Escrima sticks. So that and hand-to-hand -hand I can use for timing, and for pre precision striking and for defensive movements and all sorts of things just using this Dollar Tree ball. So uh, let me put these down and we will begin with some small uh, evasion skills and footwork. Well, hopefully you guys can see this ball. I hope you can see it. Uh, yeah, not too bad. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is begin just by a little tap. Now footwork and again it's going to be difficult to see my feet and my upper body from this distance but what we're going to do is just basically work evasion heel toe footwork a remy's kaitans tin cons gonna work all our footwork with this ball using this to evade. We can also start working some of our punching. Elbows, punch, evade, elbow, elbow, evade, elbow. So we have all that. Now, uh, once we get uh, comfortable and proficient with the evasion, type movements, the striking, then we can move into weaponry. Now, by far, without doubt, my favorite weapon uh, is a stick. Now, a knife will afford you probably a better self-defense, but uh, again, anything you can do with a knife, you can do with a stick, you can do with a sword, you can do with a staff, you can do with your hands, it doesn't matter. So just begin by just tapping, just tapping this little tap, little tap, little tap, little tap, little tap, there we go, little tap, boom. So start with our angles. We got angle one, strike. Angle two, angle three, angle four, angle four this way, angle five. So we just keep going and keep going, do all your angles. Make sure you get a good, uh, good uh, ability to strike this ball. I'm hitting it way too hard. I don't have to boom. Just, just trying to work being able to hit it wherever it goes. Just a little tap. Just a little tap. A little tap. A little tap. A little tap. Just like that. A little tap. 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 What you do? Start evading. A little tap. Now it's in the tree. 
There we go. Now, what we do is we miss. We miss a strike. Come back, hit it. We miss a strike. Come back, miss a strike. Miss a strike. Hit it. Practice missing a couple times. Miss, miss, hit. It takes a lot of uh, takes a lot of timing to actually miss that uh, when you're not used to missing it. So practice that with your sticks. Boken. Same thing. Strike. Strike. Miss. Strike. Miss. Strike. Now we're going to work the Joe. Again, very basic, simple techniques. Strike. Strike. Tap. 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 Just be able to hit that when you want. So the key is being able to hit that ball when you want to hit the ball. And again, way up in the tree. We're going to have to find a different tree. So we can begin very simple techniques without using another person. We're here striking, roll, strike. Very, very simple. All I really need to do is make contact with it. I don't need to hit hard. And I'm hitting, still hitting way too hard. And eventually I'm going to pull, yeah, I'm tearing this ball up. It all begins with working punch, 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 elbow, punch, evade, elbow, punch, 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 elbow, 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 evade, punch, 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 punch. Punch, evade. Very good piece of equipment, very expensive. And when you tear it up, like I'm doing, just have three or four of these ready and you'll be good to go.